Hi friends, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be taking a garden tour here at Andalusia. This is a beautiful historic estate, amazing formal gardens and a historic arboretum. But mainly, I just wanna focus on these amazing gardens. I've never been here before. I've only been here for about three minutes and I'm already blown away. So let's just get right into this garden tour. The garden is sectioned into many garden rooms. And I mean, I just can't even tell you, I'm already just completely blown away by how this garden is structured. I think this is not only going to be a garden tour, but also just a wonderful learning experience in terms of garden design and how to utilize different spaces and break them up into different and interesting rooms and walks. But enough talking, let's just get right into this garden tour. So this area right here is called the Green Walk but look how cool this is. Instead of just making one singular lane, they've sectioned it off into two sections. And if I just round the corner for us slowly before we walk down what they're calling the green walk there, and this must be shaded most of the day because I'm seeing mostly shade shrubs and perennials. You see how they've sectioned this area into different rooms. So you have this nice kind of walk here to that beautiful statue, but then they've broken it up with this middle garden here. It looks like this beautiful tree is underplanted with lily of the valley, some ferns, and I think I see some star of Bethlehem there. So you have your choice of which path you wanna take. I think I wanna take this path I love the repetition of planting here. It looks to me like they have a lot of the trees labeled, but not a lot of the plants. So I'll do my best in regards to that. And I hope you won't mind the light too much today. It's probably going to go in and out, but we have some beautiful, beautiful Brunnera here. I'm seeing lots of geraniums, azaleas, Bleeding Hearts, a Stilby. This shrub right here, is this a Dutzia? Would someone mind leaving us a comment and letting us know if that's correct or not? This is a fairly long walk, but I love the repetition here. And even though this walk is leading us straight away, or straight ahead rather, it's kind of beckoning us to go over to the left there through that arbor, isn't it? I'm already in love with this garden and I can't believe I've never made it out here before. It is kind of a far drive for me, but I can already tell it was completely worth it. I see some Solomon seal there on our left. That's the variegated Solomon seal. I also see some flocks in here. So it's interesting how they have a lot of shade perennials. Also have a beautiful lilac in here. The trees are absolutely magnificent. I think we came at a great time too, to see the azaleas. What kind of a fern do you think this is? Kind of the red and silvery gray green fern there on either side. Does anyone recognize that? Mm, something smells really, really good here. Looks like we've got some amazing dogwoods here. These look like they're pretty young. I was reading that parts of the garden were redone back in 2017. But this is just beautiful. Look at this white wisteria right here. Can we walk through this? Does it lead to something? Looks like some blue star juniper up there. Some maybe some bearded iris and some daylilies mixed in with that. The purple shrub we're seeing there on the right hand side is a lilac. So what does this lead into? This is so interesting. I 
I just stopped for a second to read the plaque and it says that what we're looking at is an old ice house. It says they had an ice house out here to help with parties and then another one inside near their billiard room. Can you imagine? So we'll keep heading down the green walk, but here's a view from where we were and you can see the Delaware River there in the background. Isn't that amazing? I love this repetition. Beautiful, really relaxing color palette. Now let's face the other way and keep heading on. I really like this metal edging that they use for the borders too. That's really nice and tidy. Oh, look at this gorgeous Japanese maple in the distance. Oh, what is this shrub right here? Is this a tulip tree? I think it might be. Let me try to look at the tag for us. More Star of Bethlehem down below. It says it's a Judy Zuck Magnolia. That is beautiful. So the planting is changing just slightly now, but it's still maintaining that kind of blue, white, green color palette. Lots more Brennera, beautiful ice blue hostas. Look at these boxwoods. I mean, this is immaculate. I can't believe this garden doesn't get more attention. So which way do you guys want to go? Father's garden? Or do we want to go straight ahead? Why don't we go ahead and turn and see what's down this path? That's a nice little lesson there to just stick a path here and there. Give people a choice to decide where they want to walk next. Looks like we have a beautiful oak leaf hydrangea there. Oh, wow. Oh, the hellebores are looking amazing over here, friends. Look at that foam flower in the distance there under that really large tree. Oh, I love this area. This is so beautiful. And just think, we were just over the hill on the other side of that blue star juniper, and now it's like we're in a whole different land, but we're really only a few steps away. I love that. Trillium in here, I see. That's the little dainty woodland flower you see on the left-hand side of your screen. Really beautiful place to sit here. Love the way they're edging it with these kind of bamboo half canes, half canes of bamboo rather. Sorry, I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna have a hard time talking because everything is just so amazing. I'm so inspired. Not sure what this plant is right here. Does anyone recognize that? Can help us out in the comment section. I love that. I love how it's being mixed in with the ferns and the hellebores. I'm guessing that flowering shrub right in front of us is something similar to a bridal veil spirea. Please feel free to correct me as often as you like during this tour because as I say, nothing is labeled except for the trees. That little house there is called the theater and they give you a little show about the previous owners, but let's get back into the garden borders. So we were just walking through the area where those ferns were and interestingly enough, it leads us right back to the green walk. So I love how they did that. They created a hidden entrance behind that Japanese maple. Gives you this whole other kind of secret private garden behind that magnolia, and then pops you right back out here near this lilac. Now let me walk us all the way down to where those two really tall arborvitaes are, and we'll see what's over there. So we walked all the way down the path. We arrive at this chair. It looks like we could keep walking forward, but now we have another path that beckons us to walk through 
this amazing walled garden. I mean, this feels like we're in England all of a sudden, doesn't it? Let's go down this path together. So I see a sign here that says this area is called the Grapery. Beautiful lawn on either side of this tightly clipped boxwood. Nice gravel path to walk down. So it looks like we have the grapes here. Once again, look at all of these fun doorways everywhere. And I love this garden. It feels like it's just giving us so many options. Saying like, hey there friend, you wanna go through this door? You wanna go through that door? It's almost like a gardening game show. What's through door number one? So tons of wisteria growing along this wall. We definitely need to head into that garden. It looks like we have some roses and maybe a herbaceous border with some tulips. But I'm standing here in the center of this garden now, and I'll try to slowly pan you around just to show you the design of this area because it's so cool. We're on the other end of the wisteria now. That really is amazing. I imagine it takes a ton of maintenance in order to keep this wisteria under control. But I really like this concept. So they have a rose border here. In the distance, they have a herbaceous border. And then they have this island garden that you can walk through. And we'll definitely walk through there in a second. But check this out. I mean, this is so cool how they have sectioned all of this off. We have what I think is some kind of a U hedge here. And once again, just this little tiny secret over here, a beautiful rose arbor that we can walk through and wonder what's over here. So let's find out together what is over here. looks like some kind of a big leaf or mountain hydrangea and it looks like on our right we do have some kind of a shrub rose or climbing rose so this area is hydrangeas hostas and ferns all of the doors and gates are definitely original amazing ornate work everywhere you look and basically we just came from that bench far in the distance when we entered this garden. Let's walk through this Rose Arbor Tunnel. I love this. I love this island here. It's really interesting. I have read about Andalusia in some books, but there's not a ton of pictures or video of it anywhere on the internet. So I had no idea how all of this existed back here. So what do you think we have on either side of this uh, rose arbor? Maybe some kind of mint? So this probably looks really nice in about a month. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy. I hope you won't mind. I'm just so thankful to be here with you all today. This was an unexpected trip. So I'm guessing maybe uh, this is normally a fountain that's running, and maybe it's just not on today. Is this just a bathtub? Let me know what you think is going on there. I don't see any kind of pump or fountain there. So in this herbaceous border here, I can see some love and a mist there. Is that really kind of ferny annual that you see? I see foxglove, roses, tulips. Might be some Sweet William in there, ladies mantle. Oh, it looks like we have some delphinium in bloom back here. I love this tulip combo with the ivories and the pinks. Isn't that beautiful? Just so lovely. So we could go out that doorway, but there's also another doorway over here. 
So I'm really interested to see what's over there. Let's go find out together. So they were cutting the grass through that other doorway. So I went and headed out the right doorway instead. And right away I see this beautiful peony walk. I can't tell what kind of tree is on either side. Let's take a closer look. Oh, it's a fringe tree. I have never seen a fringe tree other than at the nursery and I've always wondered what is their structure like? So that's beautiful. Do any of you have a fringe tree? I've been thinking about adding one into the front yard. I'm pretty sure they are a native tree here. No peonies in bloom yet. So let's just head to the end of this walkway together and see what else this garden has in store for us. We're just leaving that peony walk now. See these beautiful urns on either side. And once again, another entrance here into a separate garden that once again, it does connect to the green walk over on our left-hand side. This looks like we have a tennis court and now maybe we are in a more sunny location of the garden. I love the hot colors over here. Look at that beautiful smoke bush just leafing out. Beautiful tangerine iris right there some winter berries that still have their winter berries on them but have also pushed out their leaves that's interesting so it looks like here we have a pet cemetery i love this entrance although i love my animals so much i'm not sure i'm going to be able to really handle seeing a pet cemetery but let's check it out um, if you've ever been to Hortulis Farm and Garden, which is currently closed, they have amazing memorials to all their dogs now. Once that reopens, I believe it opens back in 2024. Definitely worth checking that out. So it looks like this whole area is dedicated to their pets. And I can definitely understand and relate to a strong love for all of our furry friends that really do become children, don't they? So let's see what's through here. Does that say the Easter Garden? It looks like that's a living arch. And once we get closer, I can tell you what kind of plant material they're using. But look at these European beech trees. Are you freaking out? Those are phenomenal. Wow. Okay, let's see what this arbor is being created from. I don't see any structure. I see all plant material here. American hornbeam. Let me know if you see any kind of a support system, but it just looks to me as if they've completely trained the hornbeam. That is beautiful. Beautiful snowball viburnum there on the right hand side. Oh, I love this. I love the natural path here with the logs on either side. You know what? I should have worn my seeing glasses. Oh, look friends. They have the Jacob's ladder that I just added into my garden the other day. Also see that um, foliage there. That's lords and ladies. I have some of that from my grandma's garden and I cannot figure out why it won't bloom. I've had it ever since she passed, so we're looking at at least 14 years and it's never bloomed. Okay friends, which way do we want to go? We can go on the woodland walk or through the Easter garden. So why is this called the Easter garden, do you think? Does everything in here bloom in April maybe? Columbine? I'm not sure on the botanical there, but I know a lot of people call this our native phlox, that purple that you see. Looks like some euphorbia. 
I don't grow any euphorbia. I'm kind of scared of the sap. I have heard Sarah Raven tell that horror story over and over again of getting euphorbia sap in her eye. And it kind of just scared me. So here's just a cute little seating area made from logs. So let's try going the other way now. I bet it was really beautiful in spring over here because I see tons of daffodil foliage. There's something so peaceful about a woodland garden, isn't there? The trees here are just phenomenal. I can't believe this garden. I'm so sorry that I keep saying that over and over again, but I just pictured it being basically one very formal area. I had no idea all this was back here. Let me see, I think the cost of admission was $15, and online I paid an extra maybe $2 processing fee. Totally worth it. Look at these amazing azaleas, friends. Look at that azalea in the background with the pink and the orange on the same bloom. I have never seen one like that before. This is beautiful. Isn't this so beautiful? Oh, what is this? Okay, the tag on this one says Florida Azalea. That is really stunning. Some white bleeding heart here. More of that native phlox. Maybe it's um, called woodland phlox now that I think about that some more. Here's a beautiful sweet shrub down the path a little bit further. So when we continue down that path, we end up back at the parking lot. So let's head back to that more formal area where they had all the different doorways that we could walk through. I don't really hear them cutting the grass anymore. So let's see what lies through that other doorway. So let's go through this doorway now. But before we do, look at how they have this Coosa dogwood growing along the stone wall. So creative. I'm learning so much from being here. All of these wonderful entrance points and just the repetition of the same planting over and over again makes such a big impact. So we've got these arbors that are repeating and they have wisteria growing on them. It looks like probably this first one was some kind of purple wisteria, then white, then purple again, lined simply with catmint over and over again. Evergreens on both sides. And wait until I show you what's on the right side. I think my brain might explode being here. This is so beautiful, I love this. And you know, maybe we don't all have all this space to have all this space in between these grand arbors, but we can recreate this on a smaller scale with more simple arbors. But the repetition of the planting is definitely what I'm going to take away from this. But now let me turn us to the right so you can see what I'm seeing. So that's where we were. Once again, wisteria growing all along that brick wall. And look at this gorgeous pool house. I'm not gonna walk on the lawn. I'm not really sure if we can or not, but just in case, I'll stay back here from a distance. But can you imagine having the opportunity to swim in that pool surrounded by all of these gorgeous gardens? Love those really tall columnar evergreens there. Beautiful purple sensation alliums in bloom over here. Oh wow, look, they already have Siberian iris in bloom over here. They must be a little bit ahead of us. Camassia there in the distance. Love that. Once again, pretty simple in terms of the planting. Lots of repetition. They're bringing in the catmint into that area. 
So isn't that beautiful, friends? Now, there appears to be a grand house in the distance with some really cool trees. So let me take us over there next. So that's where we were. And there's a beautiful house here on the right, but it does say it's private re residence. So I'll try not to get too much of it in the footage here. But this tree is so beautiful. It's called a dove tree. I have seen these before, but never one that is mature. And it is just phenomenal. To be here in person when the sun shines on it and to see those white leaves, that is really, really magnificent. Here's another little area. This is opposite the Green Walk. This is what they call the River Walk. I love the seating area here. A beautiful circle lined with brick covered in gravel. I love these circular benches. I sat in one and they're really comfortable. But it looks like there is a walking path that leads right along the Delaware River. That is really beautiful. Solomon seal, lily of the valley, azaleas and rhododendrons in this area, some ferns, beautiful. And here's looking at that garden from the other direction, right from where we started our tour today. Well, friends, thanks so much for hanging out with me and taking a look at this beautiful public garden. Definitely worth the effort to come here, see this in person. There are some additional gardens near that house that says it's a private residence that I'm not gonna take any footage of, but just know there's a lot more to see when you come here. So much inspiration. And once again, how they've broken this garden up into rooms and different pathways. I, I just, I love it. I think I'm going to go ahead and walk all around the garden again take some more pictures, take some notes, and take what I learned back to my garden and hopefully apply some of these amazing principles. Well, I wanna wish you all a wonderful day out there in your gardens. And until next time, happy gardening. Bye.